draft marks are important because they show us how deep in the water we are, um, as well as how level we are. Um, so we use these numbers to determine a few things. One, uh, we have a predetermined draft generally, uh, depending on what port we're going to, because the water levels are deeper or shallower than some other ports. So for example, right now we're going to Ashley Beulah, uh, loaded to 29 feet, nine inches. And uh, we have a lot of water in Ashley Beulah, so we can go in there without running aground basically, or jump, you know, running into the mud. Uh, but when we go to other ports, uh, it might only be 29 feet deep there. So we can only load to about 28 feet. So it doesn't, it doesn't leave a lot of room between us and the bottom. Um, so we have to keep a, a pretty close eye on what the water levels are doing in those particular ports. And uh, there are various websites uh, run by uh, NOAA um, and the government basically that show us what those water levels are and kind of trends and things like that. Um, and that's, that's kind of what the captain does uh, while we're loading. He's looking at what's going on there. And so we can be in the middle of a load and he'll change how deep we're going to go depending sometimes on what the water levels are doing. So if it looks like we're going to have more water, sometimes he might tell us to load a little bit more cargo. Um, sometimes we might load less. Um, so that's, that's kind of why we uh, go down on the dock while we're finishing up the load to watch the drafts. The, uh, the other reason is these boats are steel um, and they're very flexible, whether believe it or not. Uh, it's really weird to see a ship a thousand feet long flexing in waves. Uh, it can be a little unsettling at first. So what we want to do when we're loading is we, do, we don't want to go what we call down by the head, uh, which means where the bow is deeper than the stern. Uh, that makes the boat a little harder to maneuver, uh, makes us not as efficient in the water. So when we're finishing up the load, that's one thing the first mate's looking for. He's looking for how deep we are forward and how deep we are aft. And we want to be deeper aft. Um, we also want to do what we call as trim. So we want to be level across the boat. So we have a midship draft in the middle of the boat, which has draft numbers, which we also look at to make sure that if the stern is deeper than the bow, that the middle isn't bowed like this or this. So we call this a hog and this a sag. Um, and that puts a lot of stress on the structure of the boat itself. So it's pretty simple math. You can just take the, uh, the average, the difference between the bow and the stern in feet and inches and determine what your median should be. So where you should be if you were just a flat angle like that and that can tell you whether you're sagged or hogged. Um, and those numbers can also change depending on temperature. So say we load in Superior, Wisconsin on a nice cool day um, and we have a flat boat. Day later, we're in Sault Ste. Marie, and say it's 85 degrees and sunny. Well, all day that heat has been flexing the steel on the boat and can cause us to hog. So last time we loaded in Silver Bay, Minnesota on a nice cool kind of cloudy day, made it all the way to Sault Ste. Marie a day later, and we went from a flat boat to a five inch hog. Um, that's how much the heat affected the steel. So that's something that we kind of take into consideration. So like right now, we're about an inch or two of a belly. So we're anticipating that by the time we get down south, the boat will have flexed a little bit so that we can keep as little stress on the structure of the boat itself as possible. Um, another thing we look for is level. So just like when you're hanging a pitcher and you want that pitcher level, um, we want the boat to be level this way. So we have lights on deck and um, a white light is in the center. That means we have a nice level boat. Uh, green lights, if we see a green light, that means we're listed to the starboard side. A red light means we're listed to the port side. Oh, I got that backwards, but whatever, it's a mirror. It doesn't matter. Um, and then if you see two green lights or two red lights, that means we're really listed over. So what we'll do then is we'll instruct the loader to move his rig so that the cargo levels the boat out. And we want to be as flat as possible. And that also helps us with maneuvering in the rivers and piloting. So when we get into like the St. Mary's River, the boat is nice and level and we're down by the stern so that we can steer properly and um, safely. The boat will handle the way we expect it to instead of being surprised. Um, and uh, I 
think that about it. Oh, almost forgot. We've got this little book here. This is our trim book. This is the mate's Bible, basically. So what we have here is our trim tables. And what this shows us is how many tons it will take per hatch to drop the boat an inch. So these numbers are based off of 100 tons. So for every 100 tons we load into, say, hatch... Oh, here, let me uh, stop this and flip it over. 